All right, moving on. Uh, we have a great segment from Rick's Corner today. Rick's going to cover a couple topics today about how to find quick help links in the admin. And he's also going to explain how to edit categories for different types of posts. And I know, Rick, that's a common question we get in the support center is how to, for example, edit the categories for a blog or, or an event or coupons. Is that right? That is correct, Jason. Uh, we do get that question often. People um, are wondering, like, how can I make it more tailored towards this particular uh, post type itself? So categories that are more related to articles, how can I go about changing those? So yeah, it's a great topic and very excited to jump in. Awesome. So uh, yeah, I'll pass the controls over to you and you can kind of take us through the workflow of uh, how to edit the uh, categories. Okay, perfect. All right, now jumping into the uh, to the topic that we're going to talk about today, uh, we were making reference to the categories related to posts, post types. So for this scenario and uh, for this example, we're going to use the member articles. So if I log in as a user of a website, um, this is my dashboard. Here to the left, I have the sidebar that has the uh, different post types that I have available. Right, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and open up the member articles. I'm going to pretend that I'm going to add a member article. And what I want to show you is the categories that we uh, have by default showing up on that form. So when we go to the articles, you'll see that your the users of your website have the ability to choose the different categories from this dropdown right here. So in case you want to update those categories, the, uh, the way to do it would be to, through the, it's actually very easy by the way, but it's through the back end. Uh, you want to go to the content, and you're looking for the edit post setting section, this one right here. So when you click on that, what's gonna display are the different post types available on your brand directory's website. The one that we are going to edit is the articles. So what we'll do is click here where it says edit, just open that up. And here where it says post categories, this is where we have the actual categories that we can replace. So I'm just gonna highlight those, I'm gonna get rid of those. I'm gonna start with car. Comma separate, separated list, right? So motorcycle and airplane, so on and so forth. Now, very important, we just want to click where it says save. All right, so that's going to save the changes. Now, by doing this, a uh, few areas of the of the brand directory's website get get updated. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So if I go to the articles form one more time and I refresh this page here, should be able to see the categories show up. So here we have car, motorcycles, and airplanes. So it's gonna respect the same order that we add on the features. And the other section that's also going to be updated is gonna be the search results section. So this module that we see here on the right, on the sidebar, the one that your users are going to use to search for articles also gets updated with the categories. I haven't clicked refresh yet. So if I refresh, then the category should show up. And indeed they do. So here we have car, motorcycle, and airplane. So this is, again, what the user uses on the front end in order to search through the different posts available. And this is going to be the form that your user is going to fill out while completing this type of post. That's awesome, Rick. So updating it in one place will, um, in the admin, will update it in two places in the front end. The, uh, the form that the members fill in to create a post, such as a member article, and the search module that's used to search for uh, different types of content. Um, so you just have to do it once and it's all good. Correct. Exactly correct. So it makes it really easy for you as a directory or as a website owner um, and it also makes it easier for the user of the website because they're going to be able to choose from that dropdown as well as search from the dropdown on the search module. That's fantastic. Thank you for sharing that, Rick. No problem. Happy to, Jason.